Since being exiled from the island, survivor castaway Jervis Peterson has done some acting, lived out his dream as a Philadelphia Eagles fan, and made a variety of guest appearances. This morning, he's playing cub reporter for us on the trail of an NBA superstar. I'm here in Toronto, Canada, home of the Ice Hockey Hall of Fame, but they never would have guessed the next great one could be a basketball player. In just his third season with the Toronto Raptors, Vince Carter has been the driving force from the north that has put this team on the map. First year in the league, rookie of the year. Second year in the league, you take the Raptors to the playoffs. Offseason, you win a gold medal, sign a contract with Nike. What's next? Uh, I don't know what's next. Uh, you know, I just set, I try to set goals and accomplish them. So right now, one of the goals, I want to make it to the playoffs and go a little farther. You know, we made it, mm -hmm. but we didn't win a game. So right now, I just want to go to that next level. Right now, Carter is among the NBA scoring leaders. The stats alone can't make you a star. You also need the endorsement deals. And a $30 million contract with Nike doesn't hurt. The shoes have springs in them. It's supposed to make you jump higher. Like, you need to jump higher. Everybody likes to see me dunk the basketball. And every, every arena you go in, you always hear Vince. People say, Vince Duncan, Vince Duncan. So um, now they can uh, enjoy it. And, and in their minds, they can actually think he's a help. We got to talk about the dunk, too. Over the, over the Frenchman, <laughs> well, the seven foot two guy. Nothing planned, I'm going to say that. It wasn't planned. It's just that. Uh, a little luck involved in that one. Huh? The Olympic dunk solidified what everyone in the league had already known. Vince Carter can do amazing things with a basketball. All right, now, I know you got a lot of other talents. Drum major, high school band. Yeah. I mean, did you catch any flack for that? Uh, a little bit, but it's something I felt good about and uh, I enjoy it. I've been involved in music since about sixth grade, and I've been playing. I play a lot of instruments. Outside people didn't really bother me because I. Uh, that, that's something that can help me in case basketball never, I didn't make it in basketball. So can we expect an album? Come no, no, not now. I can see myself playing in some jazz clubs after, after I'm um, older, after my career's over. Possibly. Yeah. Never know. <laughs> He's really half man, half amazing. This is Vince Carter. All right, man. Nice to meet you, man. Hey, my pleasure, man. Jarvis, good morning. Good morning, Brian. You're a Sixer fan. What are you doing buddying up to Vince? Vince is a great athlete. Got in my fantasy league. <laughs> <laughs> we should note that that dunk that Vince did was over a seven-foot French guy in the Olympics. Yeah, amazing. And just went over and leaped over the top, leapt over the top of him, right? I, and you look at it, and I'm just like, whoa. <laughs> it's an incredible dunk. Is Vince real conscious of the uh, comparisons to Mike? Yeah, you know, I talked to him. He really wants to get away from that because Vince is Vince. He's, he doesn't want to be the next Michael Jordan. He wants to be the first Vince Carter. And right now, he's got not a problem, but there's a big dispute on whether or not he is the future NBA star or whether Kobe is. Yeah, and, and it's, a, it's a big challenge to live up to, but, you know, I think they can be the next Bird Jordan, you know, or Magic Bird competition going on, uh -huh. Isaiah. It, you know, a twosome instead of just one. Yeah. Vince, uh, how's he like it north of the border? He loves it. Really? Yeah, he gets, he gets a lot of love up there in Canada. They love him up there. So he said when he goes back, feels like he's home. Jervis, thanks very much. Merry Christmas to you, babe. Oh, I got a little present for you, too. Okay. These uh Boings. Yeah, man. I'm sure I'll be able Hopefully to dunk. Sure I'll game. be able to dunk with these. <laughs> I don't think so, bro. <laughs> move too fast Still there. to come, bare naked ladies are gonna be with us on this Christmas morning on the early show on CBS.